turn us up more. Like they turn them up with like citrus face. Oh yeah, like, I can see that. Like a yeah. Key lime. Yeah. Uh, That's more yeah. of a cinnamon. You know spice. what? We actually got some guava from the other booth. Oh yeah. And the guava on top of our lemon cheesecake. Oh my God! And this would taste. Good. Yes. The the Highlands, the Atotonilco area where his tequila is made, is it, it's known for the flowery and, and fruitiness of the. So that's probably right. where you should delineate how you would do the pairing. Right. That's our uh, reposado. This was aged for eight months. It's a double yeah. barrel aged uh -huh. tequila and uh, American and French oak barrel. Now the the American is like a bourbon whiskey. And then the French oak is all a French is always sweet. So this is a, a combination of both. You got it's 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 kind of dry on the entry but sweet on the finish. This would probably go good with the chocolate. Well, wait until you try the añejo and then you tell me. Oh, okay, there's another one. Oh my God, you guys are gonna have to stop and get food now. <laughs> to eat your dessert. <laughs> Been my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey. This is really good. I like this. So this is the one you think would go good. Okay. That would be in my opinion, but you tell me. You're the you're the chef. Yes, this is your recipe. So this one's 18 months. Oh. 